YouTube, it's me, the Massive Manor. Okay, so I'm going to make this real quick because I've already did this video like four times and uh, pretty much let go of all my frustration in the first two. <laughs> but anyways, uh, intermittent fasting. Why is it so great? Here's the one reason why I think it's the greatest. Pavlov's Law. Do we all remember that? I think I said it right. Okay, the dog, the bell, the saliva, the food, right? We have trained responses that we train ourselves through time. For people who are morbidly obese, you've trained yourself to look at food totally differently than, say, a bodybuilder looks at food, than a marathon runner, than just a normal, healthy person. You look at food like I look at food, if you're morbidly obese, as, you know, a pleasure receptor, you know, like, ooh, food, you know. Um, fasting works for me for this one reason, this one reason alone. For me, at least. I don't look forward to food. No, normally, if I were to eat bad, it would have been today. It would have been on a Friday. It would have been today. It would have been when I had money, plenty of it, and when my weight was at its lowest, and then I would have suffered the consequences on Monday. That said, guys, I, I swear, for me, maybe you if you try it. Maybe not if you just bash me. I don't know. Um, my goals in the beginning of this challenge were to lose weight, change the way I think about food, and become the best me I possibly could be. No matter what anybody says. It's, it's happening, guys. It's happening. Okay? Um, I will be that role model for people, and I will help people who are morbidly obese find a way. I will. I'll be here for you. Like I said, I won't feed you shit. I'm not going to brown nose. I'm going to do what's right, and I'm going, and I'm going to do it honestly. Okay, I'm not going to cheat, I'm not going to do it any other way, you know. Um, that said, a lot of people say that fasting will leave you with no energy. I've been fasting for a little while now, um, with excellent results, you know. I wake up in the morning and I do 25 push-ups now, 50 sit-ups, 24 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, 23 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, all the way down to one. Then... I go to the gym around 11 to 2, anywhere in between that time frame, right? Depending on when I have my last meal. If I go to the gym around the 15th hour of my fast, or what a lot of people don't realize is that I have an 8 hour window. So the way most Americans eat to begin with, you know, they skip breakfast and eat lunch and have a dinner. All I'm doing is fitting all my meals in a 1 hour, 8 hour window. Um, but <laughs> the thing is, is when you fast, instead of looking at food as like a uh, something to look forward to, I just see it as something that has to be done. I've been trying to break that my whole fucking life. If I would have known about fasting earlier, I would have done it earlier. If I'd known learning to, to live without food for even hours would make me not look forward to food, I would have done so... I, I wish I would have known about this sooner, but honestly, the wool has been pulled over America's eyes for so long that it's ridiculous. But that's for another video. I weight train from 11 to 2 for about 2 to 3 hours, and trust me, I leave it all there. Trust me, people are impressed at the gym. You better believe that. Even if it's a routine that I'm not all about, I will still push it until the absolute limit. As soon as I'm done with that, let's get to my third workout, high intensity interval training. Every single day I do these three things. Oh, excuse me, in between this and this, I also go swimming. Okay, so there's four right there. Then late at night, I go for a 5K walk at a slow pace, like a half hour to an hour after my last meal. That said, if I were to listen to the naysayers, I would never have energy to do all that. Okay, that's what they're saying. If I listen to the naysayers, guys, you see that right there? You see that? Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be there because they're saying that, people are saying that if I fast, I will, I will lose my muscle and not any fat. Even though when I step on the scale, I went from a 40 BMI to a 30 BMI, or tw I think it's 27 now. I don't know how this is happening. I guess I'm a wizard. I casted a level 5 plus fat loss spell on my body. But nor the day, guys, um, if you're obese and you want the answers or you want another way, you want to try something different that hasn't been, um, that, I mean, you'll get a lot of negatives. Trust me, there are people who are saying things, but... You know, I just want to stick to what I'm doing. Losing weight. I just was told tonight that losing weight is now not part of, if you lose weight, is good and all, but that's not going to help you win or lose. 
I was told in the beginning, changing changing your body composition and being active on the website is the two things that matter the most. Now, one of them doesn't matter at all anymore, I guess. I don't know. But I do know that uh, fasting has helped me not only get beastly workouts in, makes me happier with more energy all day without any weird two weeks. Uh, you'll feel weird for two weeks. Now, it's not happening because I feel great. You know, except for the fact that people are putting me down and telling me that because I'm losing weight, I might not win. I, I don't know. But Northern A, guys, this has definitely been one of the best experiences of my life. And I know I will continue to fast way past this 90-day challenge. And I'm glad I did. I am glad that I'm going through all that I'm going through now and all the comments I'm going through now. So it would be so much better to stuff it down their fucking faces when I walk away from this, not only in shape, but change for the rest of my life. That said, guys, if you have any comments, questions, please like and subscribe. Remember to follow me at lipo6movement.com. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. And uh, you should really try their protein. It's actually low in carbohydrates and fucking delicious in water. But don't forget, most importantly, stay buff, New England. Ergo, the world.